Sign the form, Mr. Taylor. Yes, Mr. Spencer, we've got a reservation for you. If you wouldn't mind just registering, sir. Oh, you can leave your car parked out front. I don't have a car. I walk from the station. All right. Uh, we've uh, given you room number four, sir. Just across there. Hope you'll be very comfortable. Room four. That's it. Oh, can I help you, miss? Yes, I'd like a room, please. Oh, certainly. Uh, how long for? Just the one night. All oh, right. Name? Simpson. Helen Simpson. Who is it? Helen. Where are you? Room nine, just across the foyer. That should be all right. This will recede onto four or five hundred yards. I've put a bug here and, and one up there. I hope it'll be all right, Mike. 
And they started auditing the company books today. Tomorrow they're going to find out they're 20,000 short. 20,000, Helen. You didn't take the money. That's what my sister, I doubt whether your opinion counts. Well, what did Burns say? I didn't actually speak to Burns. When I found out the money was gone, I called him, but he was out. So I left the good news on his answer phone. But I thought he arranged this meeting. Yes, he did. His secretary, Janice, whatever her name is, she called back later and said he wanted to meet me here. But why here, Mike? It's so out of the way. Yeah, I was wondering about that, too. Well, whatever happens in this room, I shall be a witness to it. And what's more, it'll be on tape. Do you think Burns took the money? He could have done. So could a dozen other people in the company. I just can't trust anybody anymore. Kathy rang just before I left. She's been trying to get you all day. She's worried sick, Mike. Let me sort this out first. Hmm? You are supposed to be marrying her after all. All right, I'll, I'll call her after I've spoken to Burns. Look, you better get out of here. I will call her later. I'll get back and stay close to that receiver. Sam. Oh, thanks, Petra, love. Here, take over the switchboard for a bit, will you? Okay. I wish I could tell you where it was, Miss Nesbitt. Uh, yes, fine. But as you can see, we're in the throes of audit. Oh, please, sit down. Oh, thank you. And he should be here. I phoned his apartment at least a dozen times. Me too. What about that sister of his? I tried her. She has no idea. Well, maybe he got himself tied up with a client. Well, he could have had an accident. His car is gone. If he'd had an accident, we would have heard. Now, don't worry. Mike will turn up. I hope very soon, otherwise I'll have to check out the books with them. Come in. Mr. Burns, you haven't forgotten your appointment, have you? Oh, God, yes, that's right. Oh. Look, I'm sorry, but I have to go out. I'm sorry, I don't want to hold you up. I'd go home. He's probably trying to reach you. Go home and wait for him to call you. Oh, could you let me know the minute the lines are restored? Certainly, sir. Thank you. There's nothing to worry about. Well, look, everything's okay. Well, anyway, it'll all be over tonight. Oh, uh, just a minute. Can I help you, miss? Yes, I wondered if I could get some room service. Oh, sure. A pot of coffee? Yes, of course, miss. See you next time I'm in London, then. Bye. London? Uh, yes. A milk or cream, miss? And your coffee. Cream, please. Terry? Coffee with cream for one in number nine, please.
Helen? I know Burns didn't stay to time, but surely he should be here by now. Maybe I shouldn't have trusted him after all. Anyway, I'll give him another couple of hours, then we'll go back to town and find him. Just stay there and be patient. Mike? Mike? for the man that had this room. This room is. There hasn't been anybody in this room for some days now. Matter of fact, I was just cleaning it up, ready for someone checking in later. What man did you think had this room then, miss? He, he checked in ahead of me. Oh, that man, miss. Oh, yes, well, he, he did come in here, but only for a minute or two. He, he didn't like the view. So I put him elsewhere. Another room? Where? Oh, he checked out some time back. Let me ask you. He checked out? Yes, Miss Wine. Is he a friend of yours? No. No, I, I never saw him before in my life. Taking a big interest in a stranger, aren't you, Miss? Well, you see. He borrowed some cigarettes from me, and I ran out, so I just oh, came in. Oh, I see. <laughs> well, that's easy, miss. <laughs> Plenty of cigarettes in the machine in the bar. <laughs> this way. Oh, I just remembered. I have some in the car. Excuse me. <laughs>
London, but I don't have any money. A reverse charge call? Yes. The number is 629-0098. Can I have your number and your name, please? Yes, the number is Minsterly 407, and my name is Helen Spencer. Will you please hurry? We were disconnected. Please. One moment. Thank you. He's in a meeting. Oh, Janice, I want you... Oh, Miss Nesbitt. Oh, Mr. Burns, I must talk to you. I got a call from Helen last night, and I have a feeling that Michael's in some sort of trouble. Yes, he certainly is. You better come in. Uh, this is Catherine Nesbitt, a friend of Michael's. Please sit down. Inspector Turner, Sergeant Osgood. Has something happened to Michael? How good a friend. Something has happened, hasn't it? Now, what's wrong? When did you last see Mr. Spencer, miss? Two days ago, why? Have you made any sort of contact with him since then? No. But you know that. I was here looking for him yesterday. Now, now what's going on? I'm afraid that Mike is in a lot of trouble. The company accounts are 20,000 short. These gentlemen are from the fraud squad. Michael? is not a thief. Now, you know him, Mr. Burns. Yes, well, I must say, I find it hard to believe. Oh. You just said that you'd spoken to his sister. She called you. What did she say? We were disconnected. No, before that. She said that something had happened, and then the line just went dead. Something had happened. Something certainly has. We've tried her apartment, too. She isn't home, hasn't been home in 24 hours. When she phoned you, did she say where she was phoning from? No, no, she didn't.
Hey, what do you think you're doing? Oh. Well, we're usually checked out by a local man, you know, once a month. Local man, he was uh, here last week. Well, this is special. Michael Spencer and his sister Helen. Take a good long look. Oh, they were never here. Either of them. Who said they were? Nobody. Well, this is just a routine check. Every hotel and motel in the area. Not here. Neither of them. Well, they were never registered either. Oh, well, then they wouldn't be, would they? They hadn't stayed here. Well, does anyone ever stay here? Oh, well, we're a bit slack, you know, time of the year and all. Now, the exchange was absolutely sure. Yeah, a reverse charge called from Minsterly and she accepted it. Oh, well. Thanks for your cooperation. Oh, not at all. Any time, always glad to help out. <laughs> Only uh, next time, if you're going to come in and just take over, do me a favour. Don't ring the bell. Leaving. Yeah, well, I mean, nothing to worry about. Well, what do they want? Well, just routine. Yeah, thermostat number 14's on the blink. You better come and give me a hand. not in the area anymore. I'd be a fool if he was. No, he's, he's moved on. I wasn't thinking about Spencer. Did you notice that chap coming to the motel as we were going out? No. You were always weak on observation. Ah, but give me a balance sheet, a set of cookbooks, and I'll spot the bad one right away. Well, I'm the same way about faces. This way, miss. It's the end of Storm Martin Gibby, Miss. The bar's just down the corridor. Oh, uh, so it's close to where the action is, huh? Well, I wouldn't go that far, Miss. I mean, action around here is strictly limited. So I noticed. But um, that is kind of the virtue of this place, isn't it? It's very peaceful and quiet. Well, you, uh, you won't be kept awake, that's for sure, Miss. We're uh, rather slack this time of year. <laughs> <laughs> of course, I noticed. You know, I imagine that if a person were on the run, he could probably hold up here for a very long time, huh? Well, if you're on the run, miss, you must be pretty tired by now, all the way from America. <laughs> <laughs> Good morning, miss. Clean. 
Lane. Excuse me, miss. Well, it's awfully quiet here. Yes, miss. But you're all awfully busy, aren't you? Always am. If the room's used, I have to change it. If it isn't, I have to air it. You must bump into just about every occupant, don't you? Just about. I was on my way. They always leave something. Uh, this was left by the last occupant? Hmm. Who did stay here last? Oh, I don't think it's been occupied for more than a week. A week? Yes, miss. It was a nice old gentleman. Well, I guess he certainly did me a favor, didn't he? I, I, I could use something to read. Would it be all right? You're welcome. Come. Janice, get Inspector Turner. The number's on the pad. We've just discovered that the overseas account has been milked to the tune of a hundred thousand dollars. Hundred and three thousand to be exact. Yes, well, whatever. It's an awful lot of money. Get Turner. Oh my God. Get me Mr. Burns' office, will you? Burns. Oh, hello. Yes, it's me, your old friend. I wanted to talk to you a bit. Oh. Oh, yes, well, I have called at an inconvenient moment, haven't I? All right, well, you call me back. Yeah, but it's very important. Yeah, as soon as the cops have gone.
Blurb says it was a bestseller. 500,000 copies sold. Translated into 12 languages. Yes, but uh, she was reading it. I recommended it to Helen. There's nothing to say with her copy. No. How about the watch? Well, yes, the watch, but that wasn't exclusively made either, was it? Ah, oh, but I gave that watch to Michael for his birthday. And on the back, it was inscribed to Michael, with much love, Kathy. Yeah, but you didn't actually see the back of the watch, did you? No. So you didn't actually see the inscription, did you? No. No. How to explain the car, then? Okay. You saw a car, a well-known make, lots of them on the road, but none of this means a thing. Well, no, not piece by piece, perhaps, but certainly all put together. Uh, Spencer's car was black? Yes. The color of the car you saw? I don't know, it was too dark. See, doesn't mean a thing. It does. Now, what do you think it means? Come on, come on, darling. Know. Look, Spencer takes off with the loot. He's not a thief. He takes off with the loot. He disappears in Minsterly, and now you think he's somewhere around this motel. In that case, why didn't you call the police? I'll tell you why. It could be they're hiding him out. It could be he doesn't want to be found. Why shouldn't I call the police? Your ethics. That's right. Ethics. I have ethics. <laughs> so what goes on between me and the client, no one need ever know, eh? <laughs> and really, only tackle divorce. Divorce is interesting. You never know what's going to turn up, what you're going to see. Not like this cloak and dagger stuff. <laughs> Still, I'll give it a whirl because I like you. Uh, all right. Uh, could I give you an advance? Now, we'll finalize payment later. Come to terms. All right. Where are you going to start? First, I'll uh, take a look around the motel, and then I'll take a look at the car. But that was locked. Not to me. Now, you go back to your little room, and I'll be in touch. All right. When? Tell you what, I'll drop by tonight, say, seven. We can have a drink together and discuss developments. Seven o'clock. Fine. What's your room number? Uh, room nine. Nine? I'll remember that. Now, you go back and wait for me and I'll see you later. Okay? Yes, thank you. There's no doubt at all? No, sir. Positive ID. But no note. They usually leave a note. Not always, Osgood. No, sir. So, so the case is closed, then? Well, we haven't found the money yet, but we'll be in touch, Mr. Burns. Right. Mr. Burns? Mr. Burns? Mm? You asked me to remind you, you've got this important call to make. Oh, yes, thank you, Janice. Well, shall I get the number for you? Uh, no. No, I'll call a little later. Jerry, I thought I Motel? Oh, it's you. Yes, I'm glad you called back. I was getting a bit anxious. How'd you get on with the law? Oh, good. <laughs> oh, very good, yeah. Now, look, I've got some bad news. Um, Michael Spencer... Uh, no, 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 no. We did what you asked, but... Um, 
A girl turned up. His sister. No. Well, yes, yes, I, uh, I think we should discuss it. Soon. See you later. Oh, well, I think you know our terms by now. Cash, strictly cash. <laughs> OK, goodbye. Save the paper boy a trip. Oh, good. We made headlines. Page okay. three. Oh. Probably make it again soon. That's good. We'll be rich. A couple of years, be able to retire, Sam. Good evening. Manager around. Manager? Well, it's in charge. I'd like to speak to him. Oh, what about? Well, he might like to buy a car. It's painted white at the moment, but would have it re-sprayed any colour he likes. Yeah, well, let's take a look, shall we? Will you take over the desk for a bit? Uh, no, this way, quicker through here. Oh, damn, I've forgotten the key. Uh, Terry. Dr. Kerry, just who are you? It's, uh, what I am is more to the point. I'm an opportunist. Where are you hiding him? Hmm? Mike Spencer. Oh, come on, I know he's around here somewhere. You've even re-spread his car. I've just seen it. What uh, exactly do you want? Half. Of your half. He got, um, what was it, um, 20,000? A nice big slice of that. Oh. Well, I go for the reward. It's bound to be a reward. Hmm. Uh, how long have I got exactly? Oh, I'm a reasonable man. Five minutes. Wrong. Yeah? Five minutes. Nowhere near that long. Yes, miss. Uh, has there been anyone asking for me? No, miss. Was you expecting someone? Well, yes, I was. About seven. Oh, well. Maybe you got delayed. Kitchen staff, miss. Yes. May I take one of these, please? Oh, yes, go ahead, help yourself. Thank you. Thank you, Bob. He, uh, wanted to squeeze us. Who was he? Well, he described himself as an opportunist. Unfortunately, he arrived at a rather inopportune moment. Nasty. Ain't gonna be able to make that look like an accident, Gov. No, but uh, we could confuse him about the time of death. We could uh, put him on ice, so to speak. <laughs> well, I mean, give us time to think of something, wouldn't it? <laughs> look, you go and get Teddy to give me a hand, and you get back to the desk. Right.
Hello. Yes, room in hotel. Hold on. No, 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 no. We'll manage. Yeah. Are yeah, you sure you can afford it? <laughs> yeah, all right. Now well, I'll see you soon then. Goodbye. Well, looks like we're in for a busy night. Well, I shouldn't worry about being paid. Hmm? Look, never seen it before. My expenser. Hmm? Twenty thousand pounds. Fast hundred thousand dollars. That's more than sixty thousand pounds. Oh, I like that. Yes, I like a nice rich client. Gives me a nice secure feeling. <laughs> 60 grand to Andre himself. Sorry, there's no reply. Shall I try again later? Yes, thank you. Good night, Mr. Burns. Get Terry. I don't know. But we've been through this place with a tooth comb. No, you've been through it, and your main interest is account books. You're still thinking of faces? Maybe. There's something bothering me. What? Well, if I knew, I'd tell you, wouldn't I? Let's take another look through Spencer's office. Come in. Yes. What is it? Can I help you?
Pass the lot. Hello, I wasn't expecting you quite so soon. I have to get back to town. Let's get this over with. Would you uh, try that n number again for me? It's all there. Yeah, but uh, only payment for two. Spencer and Burns. There's still the question of the girl, his sister, Ellen Spencer. Your problem. No, our problem. You pulled off a neat job, you pulled it off nice and clean. It's a pity to spoil the ship for a five thousand pounds worth of tar. Five thousand? Yeah, well, inflation. Well, I'll tell you what, we're throwing a bonus. A man, a snooper. Now, he was our problem, but we dealt with it. Oh, what's that now, look, his body will be found in the car with a girl. Her brother's car, all neatly resprayed, ready for his anticipated getaway. No one's going to suspect you at all. Shall we talk about it? Found anything? In the secretary's desk. I remember. That chap in the car park at the motel. He was wanted for the Benson killing. They couldn't pin it on him. Yes? Is Miss Janice Freeman there, please? Well, I'm afraid not. Uh, can I take a message? This is Green's Travel Bureau. I've been trying her home number for the last couple of hours, and it is rather urgent. Well, I'd be pleased to take a message for her. Well, um... She asked me to make a first-class booking to Rio de Janeiro as soon as possible for her, but I'm afraid the first available flight is Tuesday next the 13th at 10 a.m. Could you tell me if that'll be convenient? The airline need immediate confirmation. I should cancel it if I were you.
You'll have to make sure it's as clean as the rest. Hang on. Excuse me. Exit, Mr. Burns. Bit of luck he won't be found for a week. What about the car? It's got to be cleaned. Oh, give us a break, Sam. We'll do it tomorrow. No, now. So you have to go on. I'll come and give you a hand. Help yourself to the booze I shan't be long. Uh, everything all right in the kitchen, Terry? Oh, oh yeah, everything's neat and tidy, Sam. Scrub up. And scrub up clean. I think this little business I've ever been with. Yeah, no risk. Pays well. <laughs> Sam's clever. The best. to dream up a little scheme like this. Perfect murder. Set an alibi for yourself, send your victims down here. We do the rest. Perfect. <laughs> uh, oh, yes, well, no, no, we can certainly manage that, yes. Oh, no, 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 that's perfectly all right, so yes, yes. Well, um, would you like me to put that down as a definite booking then? 
All right, all right. With pleasure, then I'll do that. Yep. Sure. Goodbye. Oh, can I help you, miss? Uh, I, I'm going to check out. Oh, well, I'll get your bill ready for you immediately, miss. I'm, I'm sorry, it's so late. Oh, that's all right, miss. Don't worry. Just give me a minute or two. All right. Thank you. I'll just go get my things. Okay. You've been busy. Two down, one to go. The girl. Two? Thought it was only Burns tonight. We had an unexpected visitor. Yeah, Freddie Lee. Snooper. He won't be poking his nose into other people's Lee. business anymore. That's what his ID said. Well, she's been trying to phone a bloke called Lee. Who? What's her name? Girl of number nine. Miss Nesbitt. I hope you'll come and see us again soon. Kathy, how nice to see you. Do you two know each other? Kathy Nesbitt? Yes, she's my expenses girlfriend. Let me take your case, Miss Nesbitt. I'll leave it to you. Sam, police. My office. Oh, hello. You got some more faces for me to look at then? No, I remembered one. Roscoe, where is he? You sit out and cover the back. Right. When did you last see Janet Freeman? Oh, I've never heard of her. All right, lads. Search the place. Yeah, hang on a minute. I hope you've got a search warrant before you start with it. Watch him!
See if the ambulance left. Sure, she'll be all right. Give him a nice call. 